Good morning and welcome back to Time for Young Disciples. Our scripture today comes from John chapter 1 verses 14 through 28 which says, And the word became flesh and lived among us and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me, because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. This is the testimony given by John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed and did not deny it, but confessed, I am not the Messiah. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, No. Then they said to him, Who are you? Let us have an answer for those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? And he said, I am the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, Make straight the way of the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah said. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, Why then are you baptizing, if neither you are the Messiah, nor Elijah, or, nor the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water. Among you stands one whom you do not know. The one who is coming after me, I am not worthy to tie the thong of his sandal. This took place in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. Disciples. So, I don't know about you, but growing up as a kid, I was super competitive. And as an adult, I'm still super competitive. Like, I'm probably not much fun to play board games with, to be honest. But when I was growing up, I wanted to be the best that I could be at everything that I was doing. I wanted to be the greatest at what I was doing. And whether that be sports or school or church or anything that I was involved with, I wanted to be the best. But today I want to tell you about someone in the Bible that didn't want to be the greatest. In fact, he wanted to make sure that everyone knew he wasn't the greatest. And his name was John. John was very popular in his day, and people would travel for miles to see John and to hear him speak. He was so popular that many people began to think that he might be the Savior that had been promised, or that he must at least be Elijah or one of the great prophets who had come back from the dead. John assured people that he was not the Christ, nor even one of the great prophets. He told them that he was just a man who had come to tell them about one who was coming who truly was the greatest. The one who is coming, why I'm not even worthy to unbuckle his sandals, John said. Of course, the one he was talking about was Jesus. Now, most of us may or may not ever be known as the greatest anything, but we can, like John, tell others about the one who is the greatest. We can tell them about Jesus. And I can't think of anything that would we could do that would be greater than that. So let us pray. Repeat after me. Dear Jesus, you are truly the greatest. Help us to tell others just how great you are. In your name we pray. Amen.